Hello and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be looking at the um, counter which is built over there and someone's already asked me to build it step by step so that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to start at the very beginning with our lever. So this can be a lever or you can bring it in through a natural impulse. And what we do here is we're shorting in it so that it doesn't mix up our system. So it doesn't matter how long the pulse is, we shortened it to something we can actually read. So this is a basic shortener. Basically that torch will always be off until we flick the switch. And then it will like, reactivate again when the message comes through the repeaters. So it's turned off and it quickly turns on. If I just um, move that up there like that, see it quickly turns on. Now you can extend your signal a bit or shorten it to whatever you like. I suggest putting it three back and then two, so it's there one two. Okay. So once you once you've got your signal coming through. What you're going to want to do is put it into um, repeater block, repeater block, repeater block. I'm just going to make this for three numbers. As you can see, you can just continue this circuit. This is a modular structure, so you can just continue it as long as you like. And so once you've done this, you'll have your different out points. Now all your repeaters here need to be set to 3 apart from that first one then we can just bring our message through to be sorted so I'm going to make this out of pink wool so we can see the separate bits so what we want to do here is we want to have our snore latches that will switch around when the impulse comes through. Now these are very simple to make just like so and then redstone wire above and then redstone torches here Oops, like so. So all of these bottom ones should be off and then so what we want to do is just make sure that it's reset the other way so when the impulse comes through they change around. You do this by powering the top like so and then take them off Then it should stay switched around if you got it right so now if we send pulse through see they all light up now we don't want them all to light up straight away we want them to uh, do one at a time. So to solve this problem, what we have to do is close off the other other ones until the first one is toggled on. So we're just going to reset them all here again, and then we're going to use a feature of red uh, redstone repeaters, which is they can be powered by a uh, redstone um, on the block above. So you can just place that there and that there. This will mean that this one cannot activate unless this one's turned off. So let's go back to the start again and have a look. See only that one only that last one powers. And now this repeater's turned off, it can then power the next one. Okay. So next, what we want to do is we're going to build our reset line. Now, our reset line basically we just want to turn on all these wires here. So to do this, I'm just going to extend these along. You can build it here. I'm just building it out so you can see what I'm doing. So do that now. And um so we want to power this one. Now what you could do is do a line of 
thing and then have torches here that are all powered on. But if you get this going far distance, you're going to need to add some awkward um, repeaters to extend the message. So what I'm going to use is the um, repeaters so that the message just carries on going. So we're going to build this up to that height and have it so the repeater here oops no sorry I want repeater here and this repeater will power this one down here oops I'll turn instant mine off this repeater will power the block underneath as well and we've got to remember to make sure that the signal is going directly into the repeater otherwise it won't function. So we're just going to join these up again. So also the repeater can pass the power through the block and these can be set to uh, zero delay just like so. So now if we press our reset button which we've got here you see it resets them all. Then we can send for our message again. And reset. Okay, so that's the reset line done. Now what we want to do is take off this message here and now we're going to get to turning it into the single light. So for this I'm going to use um, blue wool, uh, yeah blue wool so if we go back around here you'll see that we have to invert them all first and then we're going to decode them so to invert them simply place a block after the redstone wire and place a torch and these should all turn off and then what we want to do is just place two wool blocks here and place the redstone wire up onto them. Then here what we're going to do is we're going to place redstone torches and then we're going to dig under here and place redstone wire here like so and then we're going to place redstone um, repeaters next to each one. So if this one here is having power coming through then it will pass the message on to here turning this one off or turning it on turning the wire on which will then turn this final torch which is our display off. So at the moment all the lights are off which is what we wanted and because no signal has yet come through. See all these torches are off as well. Now if we send an impulse through, see that light turns on. If we send another impulse through, that light turns on. And then another light impulse comes through, that final light's on. Then if we hit the reset button, it turns off. Um, as I said before, if you're if you want to extend this even longer, I'd suggest using a program called MC Edit. Uh, links in the description. Basically, just grab these two columns here and just clone them all the way along, and you can do that for as long as you want. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye.